My area of research is mathematical and computational neuroscience. And uh, this is a new area which is absolutely very exciting and uh, offers a lot of uh, difficult problems to solve. And we've contributed to solving two major problems. One is uh, the importance of bifurcation theory to explain why the brain is able to react so quickly and so deftly to a different uh, stimuli, and this is because it works close to bifurcation, so the brain is a bifurcation machine. And the second breakthrough is we have uncovered the importance of statistical theory for the brain. The brain is actually a statistical machine, and it works with and not against the noise which is present at every stage in the brain. The world of neuroscience has really completely changed in the last 30 years because of uh, the importance, the new importance of mathematics in neuroscience and the role of uh, computer science. Uh, for example, uh, we've seen uh, tremendous uh, breakthroughs in this area which are due to uh, the use of mathematics in the description of uh, these phenomena and the use of uh, huge parallel processing to simulate large networks of neurons. I think uh, we are witnessing something which is very similar to what happened in physics several years ago or decades ago, namely the fact that there is a very close interrelationship between experimental physics and uh, theoretical and mathematical physics. The same is happening in neuroscience, where we see the emergence of a virtuous, not vicious, virtuous circle, which is modeling, mathematical modeling, prediction, experiments, and back to the models. And this is new in neuroscience. There are many uh, very important and interesting uh, scientific problems that I would like to work on in the next few years. I will choose one, and uh, the, this example is the development of something I would call statistical neuroscience in reference to what is called in physics as statistical physics. To give you an example, Ludwig Boltzmann, who is the inventor of statistical physics, has found a way to explain macroscopic phenomena such as pressure or conductances of materials from the properties of the atoms. The same has to be done in neuroscience, explain things like uh, this is a rose or I'm happy from the activity of billions of neurons.